your mom and daddy? He said, my mom and daddy's dead. I don't have a mom and daddy. He said, where do you live? And he said, I live back there in the alley behind some, under some stairs. He said, come here, son. And he leaned down. And Roddy, what did he do? He loved that little boy. He held his arm around him. He held him. He loved him. Yes, he put his arm around him. And he hugged that little boy. And he hugged him real tight. And he said, son, listen, do you want a place to stay? He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, run down to the end of the road and take a right and go up to this big house. And Rowdy, guess what he did? The little boy took off. Johnny took off. He was so excited. He sure did. He started running. And he ran down the road and he turned around and he waved at the man and he said, what did he say? Thank you. Thank you. And the, he said, thank you. And he ran down to the house and sure enough, there's that big white house. Are you watching me? And he walks up to the door, and the man told him what to say when he knocked on the door. What did he say, Rowdy? What did he tell little Johnny to tell that lady? John 3.16! John 3.16! And that's all he told, the man told him to tell that, that woman. So he knocked on the door, and the lady came to the door, and she looked down at the little boy, and she said, What's your name? And he didn't even say his name. He didn't even say Johnny. He remembered what that man said. He said, John 3.16, John 3.16, John 3.16. And so the lady grabbed him by his hand and said, Come on, son, come on in the house. And she took him up to a fire, a big old fire. In the morning it was warm. And she said, Johnny, what, is your name Johnny? And she said, Yes, ma'am. He she said, Warm yourself by the fire. Ain't that what she said? That's what she said. Warm yourself by the fire. And so little Johnny, he's a warm in the front part of it, and he's soaking wet, he's cold, and he turns around. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, I feel so warm. And the lady leaves. She leaves, don't she, uh, Rowdy? That's right, she left. She leaves, and she goes somewhere else into the kitchen. And the little boy said, I don't know what John 3.16 says. But it'll sure warm you when you're awful cold. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And so he, she, he warmed himself. And then the lady, what did the lady do? Come on, son, hurry. She said, come on, son, follow me. Took him to the kitchen. And she took him in the kitchen. And there was a big glass of milk. And some uh, biscuits and chicken. And a bunch of food. And Rowdy, what did she say to him? Eat all you want. Eat all you want. Eat all you want. And she said, I'm going upstairs. I'll be back. And so little Johnny's sitting there and he's drinking that milk. Oh, it tastes so good. He had not had milk in a long time. Oh, he eat that chicken. Oh, that chicken's good. Oh, these tears coming out of his eyes. Oh, these tears coming out of his eyes. Oh, and he said, I don't know what that John 316 means. But it'll feed you when you're awful hungry. Woo! Praise the Lord. And so she comes and she takes him riding and takes him upstairs to a big old bath. And she had a bath running, a water running. And he, oh, he got excited. Oh, he got excited. Oh, yeah. He got excited. Oh, he was excited. And said, said jump in the bathtub, wash your hair, get cleaned up real good. So Johnny jumped in the bathtub after she left. Man, he started putting that so oh, 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 it smelled so good. Oh, it smelled so good. He hadn't had a bath in a long time. He never had a bath in a bathtub. Oh, he felt so clean. He felt warm water. Oh, and he started crying again. I don't know what John 316 is. But it'll give you a bath when you're awful dirty. And so he got out of the bathtub and he had a big old towel and he dried himself off. And he looked over there to the slip and there was some brand new clothes. Yeah. Brand new. Was it brand new, Rowdy? They sure was. They was brand new. Never been worn. Never been worn. And all of a sudden, he puts them clothes on and oh, he felt like a million dollars. Oh, preacher, he smelled. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells good. 
He started crying. I don't know what that John 3.16 means, but it put clothes on you when you don't have none. Amen? Amen. So he, she put him, took him in a bedroom and put him in the bed. And Man, it's a big bed with pillars. And oh, he used to sleep with on the, on the steps. And all of a sudden, put him under there. And she said, I'll be here in the morning to get you. The preacher, after I finish, you come and give an invitation. He laid in that bed and the pillars was big. Man, there was big pillars, wasn't he, around? Yes, there was big pillars. And he felt warm and, man, he felt comfortable. But he could not go to sleep. He cried all night long, did he? He cried all night long. Oh, he was crying. Oh, this John 3.16. Oh, this John 3.16. He said, what does John 3.16 mean? Please, that lady should have told me what John 3.16 mean. It'll give you a place to sleep when you don't have a place to sleep. And so in the morning, she came in, Rowdy, and she opened the curtains. She said, get up. And he was already up. He sure was. His eyes was red. Yeah, his eyes was awful red. He didn't sleep. She walked over to him, and she sat kneeled down beside of him. And she said, Johnny, you want to know what John 3.16 means? He said, yes, ma'am. And she sat down and she told him, she said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Little Johnny bowed his head and asked Jesus to come in his heart. Would you bow your head as the preacher, the man of God yes, comes? Amen. Thank you, Brother Randy. It talks about compassion. It talks about after that you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, there will be changes. I will quote Luke chapter number 8, 